There's a new iPhone on the way, but if you were hoping for a big update, you may have to wait until next year. Apple is set to show off the new iPhone 7 on Wednesday, and this would typically be a year that the iPhone gets a noticeable new design. But when you round up all the rumors and the leaked images, it seems the removal of the headphone jack is the biggest change. And that's a change that could make people a little freaked out since it requires getting adapters for your current headphones or using wireless Bluetooth headphones. We've even seen reports of Apple making wireless ear pods called AirPods that just sit in your ear. That is until you walk out of the Apple store and take 10 steps before they fall out of your ear into a storm drain. Or maybe that'll just be my luck. We're also expecting Apple to include more storage in the iPhone 7 starting at 32 gigs instead of the usual paltry 16 gig option. Some reports talk about the phone having better water resistance and a better camera, possibly with two camera lenses on the back. And of course, it would not be a new iPhone without it coming in a new color. Maybe this time shiny black will be an option. It's getting harder to add features that will make it enticing to upgrade. So why do some experts think that next year will be any different? Well, it is likely that Apple's saving a bigger enhancement for the iPhone 7S in 2017 because that would mark the 10-year anniversary of the first iPhone. Meanwhile, with the removal of the headphone jack, you know Apple is going to spend some time hyping up new ways to listen to music. And a few new changes to Apple Music are already on the way. Apple's rolling out personalized playlists to Apple Music subscribers. The first to see this new feature are those who are beta testing the soon-to-be-released operating system updates of iOS 10 and the Mac OS Sierra. The playlist suggests music you may enjoy, just like Spotify's Discover Weekly playlist. Apple has also begun selling gift cards for a year subscription to Apple Music. It'll cost $99, which will save you about 20 bucks if you want to commit to a full year. That's it for this tech news update. I'm Bridget Carey. You can stay on top of the biggest stories at cnet.com update.